Hello everyone and welcome once again to MS Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I'm your host, your host, and as usual in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. And before we start uh, with today's session, a small disclaimer: these all are typed in, which we have seen on the screen of MCAT Global Platform uh, while students were writing exams of Wipro assessment test. And the section is quantitative aptitude or numerical ability. So you might find some thing common with those question but there is no intention to infringe with the copyright of the questions of mcat global platform or shl platform so please mcat global people i'm not copying you these all are the sample question just showcasing just uh, for practice for the student who aspire to write uh, wipro assessment test in near future so disclaimer done so here are a few sample question you should practice these type of question before you write wipro examination and you know the drill please uh, what to say subscribe to the channel pause the session solve it yourself and then look out for the solution on this note let's start now Okay, the first one on the screen, the population of a town four years ago, four years ago was Y and the population of the town four years from now will be Z, Z. What is the current population of the town if it grows at the same rate? Suppose current population of the town is P, that means PYY is equals to z by p because it is growing at the same rate that means the ratio between these two years would be same as ratio between these two years or in other sense we can say that when the population sum is there and it is growing at the same rate we can very easily use the concept of geometric progression the same thing which i have used here common ratio between these two is second term divided by the first term again common ratio between two terms is second term divided by the first one so we'll get p square equals to yz that means current population is root over yz or which is simply the geometric mean between y and z because this gap is of equal length option a is the pick the principal of rupees x borrowed at x percent per annum simple interest for x by 12 years will amount to amount formula in case of simple interest is p into 1 plus rt by 100 where t is in years here principal is x 1 remain 1 rate percent is also x time is x by 12 into 100 so this will be x into 1 plus x square by 1200 this would be the amount let us see where it is x into 1 plus x square by 1200 option d is the pick here i hope you are pausing the session trying to solve by yourself isn't it x y z is such that y is simple interest on x z is simple interest on y for the same period and same rate of interest that means y equals x into rt by 100 if i take rate of interest as r percent and time as t years and z is the simple interest on y z is y into rt by 100 then what is the relationship between these three if i divide these both side rt by 100 rt by 100 gone we'll get y by z equals x by y or y square is equals to x into z done option c is the pick ramesh is five years elder to his youngest sibling sherni wow sherni is two years younger than her brother ram ram is 13 years old 
Ram is 13 years old and is Ramesh's brother. That means Shrini is 2 years younger. 13 minus 2, that is 11. And then Ramesh is 5 years elder than Shrini. 11 plus 5, that is 16 years old now. How old will be Ramesh in 2 years from now? In 2 years from now, Ramesh should be 16 plus 2, that is 18 years old. Option E. Question without, simple questions without time and work. Not possible. It required 7 hours for 4 men to repair 40 kilometer long. How many men are required to repair the same road of 50 kilometers in 2 hours? We know from our rule book, rule number 8, masala formula. M1, H1 by W1 equals M2, H2 by W2. Four men require seven hours to repair 50 kilometer. How many men are required to repair the same 50 kilometers in two hours? Cancel. This goes two. That means we require 14 men. Option B is the pick here. Regularly seen these kind of questions. A can finish one-fifth of his homework in one hour. That means A can finish one into five by one, his work in five hours. B can finish three-seventh of her homework in one hour, thirty minutes. One hour, thirty minutes into three-seventh, seven by three. That means she can complete her homework in 3.5 hours. And C can finish Three-fourth of her homework in three hours, thirty minutes. Three hours, thirty minutes into three-fourth by three. That would be twelve, fourteen by three. Four hours, two by three into forty. Four hours, forty minutes. Okay, now what is the question? If all of them start their homework at 12 noon and can go to play as soon as they all finish their homework, when can they start to play if they have taken a break at 3.30 p.m. for 30 minutes? That means A start at 12 o'clock, he would be completing by 5 p.m. but have taken 30 minutes break. He would be completing by 5.30 p.m. And he is the one who is taking the longest time to complete his work. That means all three of them can only start playing at 5.30 p.m. Option B. A question from time and work again. And uh, this kind of question was regularly asked. I think uh, you might find the name also common with that question. J, N and let we have S. J can build a wall in 10 days. N in 12 days and S in 15 days. Which two of them should be employed to finish the job in 6 days? Now we know that if a person can complete the work in A and B days respectively and if both are working together, time taken by them to complete the work would be A into B upon A plus B. Again follow rule 8 for these kind of small shortcut formulas. So if a uh, I have got options of JN. If I combine JN, it would be 120 by 22, which is not equals to 6. Then JS, if I combine JS, 10 into 15 is 150 by 25, which is equals to 6. Bingo. That means J and S should be working together so that work is completed in 6 days. Option B. In a farm, 500 hens give 2000 eggs in 2 days. Again, we have the same masala formula from rule 8. M1, H1 by W1 equals M2, H2 by W2. Here, M means hen. 500 hens can give 2000 eggs, that is work done, in 2 days. In place of H, we can also write D, that is 2. That means in how many days will 200 hen gives 40,000x. 
okay 1000 three zeros gone this is five and this becomes hundred so time required would be hundred days movie of Jackie Shroff and Madhuri Dijkit. option B a question from mixtures how many liters of 90% solution of a milk suppose this is X liter needs to be mixed with 75% solution of another milk to get a 30% solution of 78% milk. So this we will take 30 minus x liter. So 90% of x plus 75% of 30 minus x should be equals to 78% of 30. We can solve this and find the value of x. 0 all gone. 90x plus 5151250 minus 75x equals 24221.2340. So 15x equal 340 minus 250 is 90. So x equals 90 by 15 that is 6 liters. So we require 6 liter of 90% solution and the remaining 30 minus 6 that is 24 liters of 75% solution. When these two would be mixed, we will get 30 liters of 78% solution of milk. Option C is the pick. But this kind of tedious calculation can be cut down if we use rule 6, the jungle book rule and our butterfly rule. 90 mixed with 75 to give 78. In what ratio we would be mixing that? We can find it very easily using rule 6 butterfly diagram. 78 minus 75 is 3 and 90 minus 78 is 12. We can see that we need to mix them in the ratio of 1 is to 4. Now 1 is to 4 total volume is 30 liter. That means volume pertaining to 1 is 1 by 5 into 30 that is 6 liter. It will save time and it is easy on calculation. Please go through rule 6. Link is there in the description below. Atul bought a machine for rupees 4,50,000. Cost price for A is 4,50,000. And sold it to I, Irfan, at a profit. Irfan later sold the machine to Danish at a loss of 10%. For 4,95,000. Now we know that SP is CP into 100 plus profit by 100 or 100 minus loss by 100. In this case, SP is 4,95,000 into 100. Loss is 10% divided by 90 is cost price to Irfan. So this is 955. So cost price to Irfan is 5,50,000. That means selling price of A is 5,50,000. He have made a profit of 5,50 minus 4,50 that is 1 lakh. Now let us see what is asked. The profit earned by A is how much in percentage? In percentage, profit percentage is always calculated on cost price. So for Atul, profit is 1 lakh and cost price is 4,50,000 in 200. So it goes like 2 by 9. 2 by 9 in percentages is 22.22%. Option D is the pick. Atul or A sold at 22.22% to I and I sold at 10% loss to D for rupees 4,95,000. Okay, now the next one is from ratios and proportion. I would recommend you to go through rule 5. Master class of ratio proportion and variation where we have solved many different kind of question. One of such question is there on your screen to dwell deeper into the concepts. A total profit of 360 is to be distributed among R, S and R. Okay, Ram, Salu and Raj such that Ram and Salu's ratio is 5 is to 4 and Raj and Salu, let me write Raj here. Raj and Salu's ratio is 9 is to 8. 
first we need to find the combined ratio you can see that this is 4 this is 8 if i multiply this by 2 this will become 8 and this will become 10 that means combined ratio of ram sallu and raj is 10 is to 8 is to 9 now what is the share of raj raj share is 9 by uh, 8 17 27 27 into 360 this is 1/3 that means raj share is rupees 120 yes we have that in option a a shopkeeper offers buy one get one free you need to pay for only one and you will get two units offer on t-shirt marked at rupees 2400 if after sales shopkeeper earns a profit of 33.33% then what is the actual price of t-shirt let the actual price of t-shirt is t then the price of two t-shirts is 2t this is the cost on this he is earning 33.33% profit 33.33% means 1/3 that means 2t by 3 this should be equals to the selling price if we solve this we will find the value of t 60 plus 2t is 8t equals 2400 into 3 8 gone uh, 300 so t equals 900 The actual price of the T-shirt is rupees nine hundred per unit. Option A is the pick. So, dwell deeper to dwell deeper into the concept of profit and loss. Please go through master class on profit and loss, will will which will combine of rule three, two, three, four, and seven. Master class on profit and loss. Link is there in the description below. Go through it. S bought three hundred liters of milk at the rate nineteen rupees per liter. He added two hundred liters of water to it and sold four hundred liters of this milk at rupees twenty. To the rest, that means to the hundred now, he added ten liters more water and then sold it for fifteen lit for rupees fifteen per liter. that means remaining 110 is sold as rupees 15 per liter if we use mineral water that cost rupees 10 okay water cost is rupees 10 then the total money earned by s this is the cost and this is the selling price sale or revenue we just need to find and subtract this is 5700 2100 so it will be 7800 is the total cost Eight thousand and one six five zero, nine six five zero is total revenue. So total earning is revenue minus cost price, nine six five zero minus seven eight zero zero, fifty eight one one eight five zero. Option D is the pick is the revenue earned by him. In an annual sale there was a flat discount of 40% on all items. K bought a pair of jeans for rupees 480. That means this is nothing but 60% of the cost. 60% of mark price or cost to her is 480. Then what is the leveled price? Cost to her is leveled price. So 6 by 10 LP is 480. This is gone 80 leveled Labeled price is eighteen to ten. That is eight hundred. Where we have this option? Yes, rupees seven ninety nine or eight hundred. But all options are given in nine nine. We'll go for seven ninety nine. Option A is the pick. A bookstore offers a ten percent discount on all the books sold, plus an additional five percent discount on the total bill. If the total bill after the initial discount is more than or equals to one thousand, Dilshan bought three books: four fifty, five twenty, two fifty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, twenty. So first discount will be of ten percent, one twenty-two. So eight. 
नाइन वन जीरो वन जीरो नाइन एट विल बी द बिल आफ्टर फर्स्ट डिस्काउंट एंड दिस इज मोर देन थाउजेंड सो ही विल गेट एन अदर डिस्काउंट ऑफ फाइव परसेंट दैट मीन्स एन अदर डिस्काउंट ऑफ सिक्सटी वन हाउ मच मनी वॉज दिलसान एबल टू सेव एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ द वेरियस डिस्काउंट ऑफर्ड बाय द स्टोर दिस इज द सेविंग्स वन ट्वेंटी टू एंड सिक्सटी वन दैट इज वन एट्टी थ्री ऑप्शन डी Okay, a classical question from profit and loss, where we would be using rule three, and you know the master class of profit and loss. Go through rule three. Every year before the festive season, a shopkeeper increases the price of product by thirty-five percent, and then introduces two successive discounts of ten percent and fifteen percent. What is his percentage loss or gain? First of all, how to find the single effect of two successive discount? That is given by d1 plus d2 minus d1 into d2 by 100. So single discount of two successive discount is 25 minus 10 into 15 by 100. That would be 23.5 percent. This is the single discount. Now we can see that he has marked up price by 35 distance, 35 percentage. and giving single discount of 23.5% then actual profit with help of rule 3 again net changing rule is m minus d minus m into d by 100 m minus d is like uh, 24 11.5 minus 35 into 23.5 by 100 okay let us calculate 235, 235 years into 35, five, 25, 2, 17, 1, 11, 15, 1, 9, 0, 1, 6, 7, 5, 2, 2, 8, and 3, 8.225. So 11.5 minus 8.225. That would be 3.3 on 275. so profit is 3.275% it is positive the net profit is 3.275% where it is yes that is in option b a man rows a boat at a speed of 5 kph in still water our nomenclature for here is m that is 5 and w we use for speed of river or speed of water find the speed of the river if it takes him 1 hour to row a boat to a place 2.4 km away and return back so while going upstream the effective speed is m minus w and while going downstream effective speed is always m plus w now according to the given situation we know that time is equals to distance by speed 2.4 by 5 minus w plus 2.4 by 5 plus w is equals to 1 hour that is given going up and coming back total time is 1 either you can choose for putting plugging in the options pick up any number put in and then try or else solve it it's simple so if we solve 2.4 lcm is 25 minus w is square 5 plus w plus 5 minus w equals 1 or 25 minus w square is 10 into 20 2.4 that is 24 w square is 1 therefore w is 1 so the speed of the river is 1 km per hour we can solve and also find or else choose the option which is less than 5 and plug in it's all depend upon you how quickly you do with choosing options and plucking in or solving okay a few question from simplification and algebra to follow 144 to the power minus 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 6 first of all this will become and 144 is 12 is square minus minus plus into 1 by Sorry, four. 
so this will become root 12 root 12 is 2 into 2 into 3 that is 2 root 3 where we have option a one more to solve from indices 2 to the power 2n minus 1 and on right hand side is 1 by 8 so if i bring 8 up power will be like uh, the negative 3 minus n and 8 is 2 cube so this is 2 to the power 3 into 3 minus n since bases are same we can compare the indices so 2n minus 1 equals 9 minus 3n 5n is equals to 10 n is equals to 10 by 5 that is 2 wonderful option b What is the value of a to the power 3 to the power 5? That means it is a to the power 3 into 5, 15 divided by a to the power 2 to the power 4. That is a to the power 8. This is a to the power 15 minus 8. a to the power 7. Option B. Okay, one more on indices. What is the value of b and x if this is equals to this? Okay, so here 168 by 13. Can I write this as 169 minus 1 into 13 to the power minus 22? This is 13 is square. So this is 13 to the power minus 20 minus 13 to the power minus 22 is 13 to the power minus 20 minus b into 13 to the power x now these two matches this need to be matched with this b into 13 to the power x is 13 to the power minus 22 that means b is equals to 1 and x is equals to minus 22 answer should be 1 comma minus 22 option e fits in Find the value of 5 to the power minus 2, 1 by 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 is 1 by 10 to the power 4. Okay, divided by 2 to the power minus 5, 1 by 32 into 5 to the power minus 6, 1 by 5 to the power 6. So, this will be 2 to the power 5 into 5 to the power 5 into 5. Let me write like this by 5 square into 5 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 4 okay 2 4 1 5 gone and we are left with 2 to the power 1 only that is 2 option b okay one more 15 to the power minus 1 is 1 by 15 into x x by 15 equals 1 by 5 cube gone three times x equals 3 by 25 option a number one beautiful is it a prime number no one is not a prime number because prime number should have only two factors that is one and the number itself but number one have got only one factor that's why it is not a prime number is it a composite number? No, composite number should have more than two factors, but number one have got only one factor. That's why one is not a composite number. Is it a positive number? Yes, it is a positive number. A number four, five, six, missing eight, five is completely divisible by three smallest whole digit number in place of asterisk now rule for divisibility by 3 is sum of digits should be divisible by 3 here sum of digit is 9 6 15 20 28 so it is 28 plus asterisk this should be divisible by 3 so the nearest multiple of 3 with 28 is 30 so in place of this missing asterisk place we should have 30 minus 28 that is 2 if we put 2 this number would be completely divisible by 3 that is the smallest number option c 